It's the day 13 begins. Nice comfortable evening last night, about 8 o'clock. Heading towards Durango and Mesa Verde. They say it's supposed to snow possibly tonight. And then clear out, but the next couple nights supposed to be in the 20. Gorgeous day. Temperatures in the mid 60s. Mountains are beautiful. Very nice state park. Up on the ridge. Very quiet. It was great night's sleep. Still on the expensive side though. I think it was $38 plus $10 for the vehicle. So it's a $48 night. And basically don't use any electricity, hardly any water. There are deer everywhere. There must be a dozen of them there. They have the grates to try to keep the animals off the highway. So they got a fence and then the grate where the vehicles pass over. The wind is already pretty strong. The wind warning goes up at 10. It's only 8.15. going to be an interesting day. Telluride is very close by. I'm not going through it, but it gives you some sense for this area of Colorado. And it's pretty spectacular. The rock strata. Where things get a little interesting i'm going to start a climb here don't know quite what to expect but i can see it on my gps as being a wavy road which tells me it's going to climb me in elevation the sign said steep mountain road winding 45 miles which is almost half the distance to durango which is where i'm headed right now just hope the winds aren't too bad up here because it said narrow shoulders and steep drop-offs Well, I wanted the Rockies. I thought I was on the other side of them, but I guess not. That was intense riding with the drop-offs. I didn't take many pictures because I was uh, too focused on what I was doing. It's chilly up here too. Temperatures dropped to 48 degrees. Hopefully I'm over the pass and now I'm on my way down. There's definitely snow in these mountains. Temperature's 46. The roads seem to be fairly dry, so hopefully the traction's decent. See the grips are nice when it's cold. Gives you a sense for the turns coming up. There's some wind too. There are a lot of avalanche areas and they have signs that say no stopping or standing in the avalanche zone, which doesn't give you a lot of comfort. And I see rock, small ones so far on the road, which presumably are tumbling down from the hills. Don't want to hit one of those with the bike either. down into that valley I think still got to get over that next set of mountains so I'm not done with this got to turn on my electric uh, outfit here soon it's 40 degrees Wow the vistas are just spectacular the riding is intense and I am not going fast Got nothing to prove to anybody. What a ride, man. Turned into more sweepers right at the moment. The speed's picked up a little bit. Still pretty intense riding, but <clears throat> I feel a little bit more comfortable. 
What a ride. Holy cow. I had no idea this was in store for me today. Silverton. 93.18 feet of elevation. And I feel like I'm in the valley. So I'm going up again. Molas Pass Summit, seven miles. Still uh, 48 miles from Durango. Here we go again. Lots of blind corners. 10,000 feet of elevation and climbing. I think that's Mol Molar Pass, 10,910 feet. It's hard to turn a corner without seeing another pretty view. So here we go up again, Cold Bank Summit, three miles. Going up there. Cold Bank Pass, 10,640 feet. Downgrade now for the next six miles. A fascinating mountaintop there. Like a pyramid. Well, that was an interesting experience. I came across a uh, car accident where the guy's pulling a trailer with two cars on it went off the side of the road and went down the embankment probably 40 feet. They were both okay. They were both really shooken up. Had trouble getting back up to the road. I came upon the scene of the uh, accident after it had occurred. I didn't see it happen. There was already a police officer there. And we formed a uh, small chain of people. To, somebody had a strap. Here comes the fire department and the ambulance. We had a, a tie-down strap that they threw down the hill and then we held on to that and uh, formed a chain at the top to where we could get a, a grip and help the guys get up. Two guys were very shaken up, and it's a, but it's amazing that they weren't hurt um, or even killed in that accident. It's going to take a crane to get that uh, pickup truck and the two cars out of there because it's was buried down there in the valley. During Durango, I'm going to head to Mesa Verde, which is 38 miles from here. Route 160 headed west towards Mesa Verde, about 22 miles from the National Park. Mesa Verde National Park, it's here probably 50 years ago. Again, I don't think terribly high. Apparently, before the tunnel was built, the road used to come along this, and they called it the knife's edge. They had trouble maintaining the road, no doubt. Almost 8,200 feet of elevation. Bruce Treehouse. It's about a half mile, one kilometer trail. 